Hey there, Mike here, and welcome to the first renamed episode of You've Been Mooked. Now, before I was doing the Alphabet episodes, but I've completely scrapped that idea because, frankly, I got bored of it. And you know when you get bored of something, and you don't want to force yourself to carry on doing it, because then I'm not going to enjoy doing it, and you guys are not going to see quality work. So from now on, each episode will be the same structure as all the others. However, it's going to be renamed You've Been Mooped. I'm basically going to draw whatever I want. And hopefully you guys will like it too. This episode, we're going to look into Games of Thrones, celebrating the most recent finale episode. For those of you who've watched Games of Thrones, you'll know the character Eddard Stark, played by Sean Bean, who also was in Lord of the Rings as well, which the character is, is, is perfect, is a perfect combination. And I've chosen to do the Iron Throne and him sat on it, you know, the original picture that was advertised when Games of Thrones first came out. Now, I am a new fan of Games of Thrones and I've just caught up a few weeks ago, so I haven't been a fan for years and years. I haven't been a fan since it's come out, but I'm a big fan now. This will be the first in a long series of, I would call, marathon episodes to highlight my favourite characters from the series and to highlight them in my classic mood drawing style. Bit by bit other characters will be introduced, like next in line I've got Jon Snow and Ghost, so I'll be looking forward to doing that. But for now, what you're seeing is, as I said before, Stark, the true king in the first season. I don't want to spoil anything for those of you who haven't watched it, so I'm going to stop there and keep my mouth shut about the storyline. But you'll see, you know, Daenerys and the Lannisters, infamously known, and maybe we'll have a few cheeky white walkers in there. Now, I also want to talk about the style that I draw in because I've been watching a lot of videos lately and there seems to be a lot of people, illustrators, cartoonists, people that may have not experienced manga who overlook it and who don't really see it as an art style. Now, in my short 20 years of life, I've also experienced that too. You know, going to uni interviews and um, showing my work, showing my chibi alteration characters, which is Moop. Um, and to be frank, they don't even, you know, take a bleeding notice of it. And I just can't see why, because the, the it's art. It's it's it takes a lot of skill to be able to draw it well but they just don't see it applying to any field and they think oh it's just kids being kids it's just kids seeing something they like and they draw but that's what they do with comics but hey a lot of um a lot of the older artists also tend to look down on kids who draw comics i mean i've seen a few people who draw comics very well and in the future may become very very famous you know comic artists working for dc or marvel and they're making billions and you look at the manga industry in japan they're making billions and it's coming over very strongly in america and very strongly in europe if you search up this guy mark Crilly, uh, i keep up with him quite a lot he's um he's an american manga artist so he hasn't gone and done his work in japanese and released it just in japan he's spreading it over in america you know miki falls and all that and He's doing very well for himself and he's got a very big YouTube fan base purely based on manga and he's a very talented artist, he can draw other things as well. This is where I come in and say that like, yes I, I can draw moot and I can draw chibis and I'm not too great on manga as in what you see in Bleach and Naruto, I haven't drawn that in a very long time but without doubt if I get started I can probably get into it again and get into it quite strongly but at the moment this is my main focus. I can draw other things. I'm a very good fine artist um, when I want to be. <laughs> so it's it's a subject that I am quite passionate about and when other YouTubers or uh, when other people overlook the skill that is required to draw a decent manga or comic drawing it, it does you know get on my nerves. That being said I hope that I slowly or am part of the breaking the mold factor of getting people other than in Asia to look at manga and say actually that's pretty decent and actually that runs along the same lines as your typical painting or technical illustrations that is done. So I'm going to end it at that 
and I'm going to say thank you for watching my video. Please like, comment and subscribe and check out my Facebook link which is down below and my DeviantArt link too. All of my previous works will be on there and you can keep up to date with me on Twitter at MoopMaster92. Right, I'll see you next episode. Moop out.